Okay, today we're going to do Newton's third law of motion with baseball. Up to hit is Brantley, and Parker's going to be pitching. Here. I'll okay. catch. All right. All right. First, we're going to do the pitching, the pitching example. Parker's, Parker's loading up. Parker's practicing. Alright, Newton's third law states for every action there is an equal to opposite reaction. So we're going to demonstrate that with Brantley hitting the ball. about the delay. We're, Parker just has to warm up. Oh. Go pause it. We have a slight delay. Brantley hit it over the fence. Okay. Now Blake is going to go to go to bat. Let's see if we get better results. Oh no, Brantley's still hitting. Let's see if we can have better results. Nope. Yeah, Parker still needs some time to warm up. It's a fly ball. Okay. Now, Brantley showed the third law of motion by hit by hitting the ball into the outfield. When when the ball got to the bat, the for the ball was carrying force when it was going to the bat, and so when when Brantley hit the ball. The force was going at a different direction. And so that made the ball go up into the air. And when the ball came down, and when the ball went up, the ball 
gravity hold it down going for every gravity forced it when the ball went down gravity that's what gra gravity forced it to go down so what comes up must go down. There you go. Now Blake's up the bat. Ah. All right. So gravity forced that one to go down. That. So it went to a different. So it went at a different direction. For every action, there's an equal to op and opposite reaction. And when the ball went up, it was carrying the force hit to by Blake. So when the force ran out, when the ball ran out of momentum, it was brought down by gravity. As you see. And now we're going to do a demonstration with soft toss. Okay. So, that was not. So, so when Parker was pitching it, it provided a better, a more force than when Blake was soft tossing it. I'll, and I'll explain oh, that in a little bit. I said crud. And so, I'll explain why there's more force when someone is pitching it than when someone is soft tossing it. Now Brantley's going to soft toss it to Blake. And that's a ground ball to second base. Anyway. Okay, one more. This is one more soft toss, and then we'll go off to the tee. Okay. Well, we'll do one more. Let's see if Blake can do it. That's another, that's another bad one. That's gravity. That's gravity. Yeah. That's gravity. <laughs> and there's a line drive to second base. Now we're going to do the T. Now that was slightly less than the soft toss. Yes. Okay. Now you ask, why does pitching, why does pitching a ball create more force than soft tossing it? Well I'll explain well I'll explain that. You see, when the ball is pitched to to Brantley or or Blake, it it is already carrying force. And when what? the ball is hit, it is already 
it is already carrying that force, but the ball is hit to the other way. And soft tossing it is providing that that ball is still moving, but at a but, but at a less but a less well <laughs> at a at a slower speed than the pitching, and so. When it's on the T, the T is the T is stationary, so the ball is stationary, and the, and the the, t, the ball relies on the bat's force only. So the ball has to rely on the bat's force when you're hitting the T, and so this is why you can pit. This is why. When you're pitching a ball, it goes farther than when you're when you're not. Okay, now I'm gonna hit it right handed. Hit it right handed. Do I pause it or what? Do I pause it or what? Okay. Right handed. Oh god. That counts. That counts. We can do that. Okay. So it was just basically soft tossing it. All right. Okay. Anyway, we've showed you the third law of motion. Right here. Now we'll demonstrate a third law of motion in a different way. Anyway, when the ball is hit up into the air like a fly ball, it, it is going upwards. And so when it goes down, when the force of gravity pulls it down, it, it goes a different way. What comes up must come down.